video I'm going to show you how you can connect your images or picture connect to your database. So uh, what I'm going to do here first thing first, uh, I collect some of my three images. So I'm going to copy this and you will open your project folder from your desktop. Right click, new, and new folder. Name that one as images and double click, open the folder and uh, copy those three images. I mean, and uh, if you notice one thing, I already uh, renamed all my images as 001, 002, 003, and you know the extension, I mean, it's a JPEG. Okay, so I close this. I go back to my Dreamweaver and when you open the Dreamweaver you will see uh, your images folder. If you don't see this, just close your Dreamweaver and reopen it again and uh, you will see the image folder. So first thing first, what you do is uh, on the expand view, upload your image folder to your uh, server folder. Okay, and close this and open the default page. We're working on that. Uh, right click on that cell, uh, right down below the name, and uh, insert row and column. So I need one column before that name. So I want to um, I mean put my picture before the name. So I'll click it OK, and it will give me a, a good I mean, uh, two cell. On the top cell, I'm going to put. Um, picture and again I'm going to select it give it a white font color and then I'm going to enter uh, again it's better to use a CSS style you don't have to let me choose your fonts and style again and again okay uh, for this you go to that uh, from a common uh, uh, property inspector you will choose uh, images just click on that and uh, of course from your uh, site folder uh, choose image fol images folder and just choose any one of the image and just click it okay I know size is big because actually it is big so just I'm just gonna give it like 150 width and around like 100 height okay so when you go up and click it somewhere it just adjust to your uh, I mean cell size uh, just make sure uh, do one thing also just, uh, just select uh, your cell and uh, remember we give the uh, width 150 so just make it like 160 and uh, Choose a bottom cell, like your picture cell, and uh, give a height around uh, like 110. So it's just gonna be in your middle, and just select the picture, and uh, I mean uh, you can just uh, there should be an alignment, uh, alignment to center. Okay, so when your data come, it looks nice. So click on the picture now uh, we have made a folder to our site and we already uploaded so now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this picture to our database remember that we have uh, in our database we have a name uh, of uh, images like image name I already uh, change and uh, modify those image name as uh, 001.jpg 002.jpg and 003 so just click on the picture, you will see a synchronize over here. Uh, right after synchronize, you will see a folder. So just click on a folder, and uh, you will see a select image source window. Uh, right uh, after that file system, there's a data source. So just click on a data source. We already have a record set, so just expand that and select uh, the connection image. Um, on the URL, you will see it 
workflow just gives you the connection between your uh, images folder to uh, database name. Uh, all you have to do just one thing, just type images and forward slash. So just let it know like uh, your folder is over there, inside your folder is your uh, images. And right when you click it OK, it will change the shape, it shape like this. Okay. So what you do is save all, make sure you upload your uh, default page to your server. And as far as I know, you already uh, managed that uploaded uh, that images folder on your uh, manager the server as well. So let's open a browser and uh, give it refresh. So you'll see there's all three pictures are over here. So if you go and modify this, you'll see there's a 002 on a David. And go back to Mr. Lee, you'll see 003. And you'll see on Zishan, which is my name, 001. So let's give it a try. We'll uh, change this one to number two. So update record, and you will see changing over here. So uh, I hope you enjoy this, and uh, I hope it's uh, helpful to you. And uh, I mean, uh, just see how you can make I mean, more things out of it. Uh, let me just show you the website that I made for my client. See, this is a website also I just made for my client, and uh, it's also a database. Uh, I mean, uh, use a database on that. See, how it's a picture over here for the machine, and this is all like a database that I'm using for Microsoft uh, Microsoft Access. And uh, once you click it, it will uh, take you to the I mean, uh, details page of it, and you'll see how nicely you can see the detail picture over here. So um, I mean you can do a lot of things and uh, if you have any question or anything just uh, I mean, leave it on the comments so I'll see what I can do. And uh, one more thing uh, that I want to tell you. Uh, when you make a database, so I'm going to leave the driver, uh, you know that database driver that we use to make a connection open this I'll show you I'm gonna just uh, leave it on the comments uh, that driver name uh, let me just see on when you click it see this connection string so I'm just gonna copy and paste it over there so if you want you can just copy that connection and use it for your site so thank you very much thanks for your time and uh, have a nice day bye bye